Daisy, good morning. <laughs> Look at the diva. How are you doing? It's a special day today. You know what it is? It's the first day of garage sales. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's the first day of garage sales. So we're going to go out and see what treasures we could find. And then we'll come back and we'll check in and see how you're doing, all right? Oh, we're gonna get a lot more for you to guard this year. All right, here we go. Prime time on the prowl for the first sale. Looks like there's a bunch of tables. Let's go see if there's anything good. All right, well, that one was a bust. It was mostly all little kids' stuff. So hopefully that's not a bad omen for the rest of the day. Let's go on to the next one. This looks pretty promising. It doesn't look like it's all kids' stuff here. So hopefully better luck on this one. This is hilarious. I think I'm gonna get this to give me good luck this year. <laughs> First pickup of the year. <laughs> this will give me good luck. This will give me good luck, right? This seriously is going to be my first garage sale purchase of the year. <laughs> I was going to say, everybody picked that one up. Oh, well, you're coming home with me, Jesus. <laughs> that was my dad. Oh, great. Awesome. He's great. I love him. <laughs> Well, just when I thought I started off the garage sale season with a bad omen, a great omen came my way. So I am set to crush it in 2023. Let's go! <laughs> All right, here's the next one. I see something Heineken there and it says, make me an offer. So I always like to see those kind of signs. So this is this is designed for kids, right? These dragon wings, right? They just okay. All right. So you said make an offer. Um, five bucks. All right. That was easy. Uh, and this this is a pretty big Heineken. <laughs> it's it's filled. I thought it was like a promotional thing, like an inflatable or something. No. But no, it's it's actually a giant Heineken. Is, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Awesome. So yeah, kind of weird how we went from Jesus to dragon wings, but hey, that's what happens when you go garage sale hunting. So this is pretty neat. You could see that it still has the original tag on it, which is a bonus. It's by a company called Hannah Anderson, and they make um, kids clothes and they make kids costumes. This dragon wing item is not currently available. Uh, so I think that come Halloween season, this would be something that you know a parent would be searching for uh, to pick up and you know original price on it is 40 bucks so that's why i offered the five dollars on it. i felt that was fair and i could mark it up i think pretty close to around this price range for it one of the things i also tested out because you could see the size of it is if i could fold it for first class shipping and you could see here i could fold this up easily and this will go first class it's pretty light so that's key there won't be any need for this to go inside a giant box. All right, so I just saw Mrs. Primetime driving by. We are dividing and conquering today because we have to pick my daughter up from college at noon. So we just have a few hours. Uh, she said to me that she just made a nice jewelry score. So we'll check in and see what she got uh, when we get back to Primetime Treasure headquarters later. And then she asked me, now, how'd you do? Did you find anything yet? And I said, yeah, I found a friend. And she said, goodbye. And she just drove away. <laughs> Would you go three on the Disney bag? Sure. All right. Deal. I like, I like all the characters on it. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah, awesome. All right, well, this must be the garage sale day of omens because as soon as I come across Mrs. Primetime, who is a big Disney fan, I then come across this Disney duffel bag. 
This was great to get it for $3 because the cheapest you could find one of these available is $66. That includes the shipping. It is a vintage bag. The zipper works. Always check that. And it has the hand straps as well as the shoulder strap as well. So I'm very excited about this one. No way. Is that Mrs. Primetime? <laughs> Find anything good? Yeah. All right. Check it out at Primetime Treasure Headquarters. We're going fast. We're doing our own thing. <laughs> All right. We're trying to do my own thing. All right. I don't have you on camera. There's three uh, stuffed animals there. I got Garfield. You got Garfield? Awesome. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's leave Mrs. Primetime alone and have her do her own thing for now. We're going to check out this sale right here. This is what she's talking about. She said she got it out of the free bin here. So, good job, Mrs. PT. Yeah, this one's pretty cool for free. Definitely think I'll pick this one up. Awesome. Yeah, I like this one. This is from 85. This is one of the our docking plushes. I always wow. look for those, the, the docking plushes. What do you do, sell them? Yeah, yeah, so I'm always looking for them. So, curious, how much would you do all of the ornaments for if you just want to blow them out? I like these. Um, gosh, I don't know. What is there like? 25 cents each, right? I like that you got some oh, dwarfs those. in here. Yeah. yeah. Elephants, horses. There's about thirty in here. Fifty. Um. Santa. I mean, do you want me to do like an exact count what or something? What do we think are in there? You mean how many? Yeah. Uh, uh, probably 20-ish, 20-ish in each maybe. So I don't know, would you do $20 for it all? Sure. All right, sounds good. You want a bag? Um, could, yeah, because you want to keep these obviously. Yeah, exactly. yeah, so sure, yeah, absolutely, thank you. All right, so once again, this is where some comic knowledge paid off because this is Opus from the Bloom County comic strip. I didn't like the strip, but I did recognize the character. He's actually a penguin, but he has these uh, antlers on with the Christmas ornaments, and that helps sell him as well because you have that Christmas element to it. I should be able to get around 20 bucks for him, so can't pass on it for free. But this was really incredible to get all these different Christmas ornaments. I love the fact that a lot of them have uh, fireman themes to them. And you have different characters, you know, like Santa, of course. And you've got, you know, snowmen. And, you know, some of them are uh, even with the original box. So uh, that helps. But this is really where... Um, whatnot has changed the game in terms of sourcing because instead of having to list all these individually online, uh, this will simply just uh, be something like a whatnot show. I mean, at least it can be. You know, we could just do a Christmas ornament show and just go on. And, you know, even if I sold them for like, you know, four or five bucks a piece or something, you know, that adds up. So, uh, and it's a great opportunity on there for people to get things in bulk and you know really you'll get some volume deals on some of this stuff so um awesome if you haven't checked me out over there check me out primetime treasure mrs primetime and i do sales there uh, several times a week so look forward to seeing you there and you might see these uh, pop up there at some point and don't forget to use my code in the description section for 15 dollars off your first whatnot purchase if you use it i get a referral credit as well so works out for both of us.
All right, so just to give you an official count, I counted up how many uh, Christmas ornaments were there. Turns out there's 57 of them, so that's 35 cents a piece. Now remember, the sign said 25 cents a piece unless otherwise marked, and there were a bunch of them in there uh, that were 50 cents a piece, so that's why I threw out the $20 price. So 35 cents a piece, I'm cool with that, especially since I got that free plush. All right, this looks promising. Look at all the couches out front. I could just kind of hang out if I want. I got a place to sit. <laughs> this is cool. All right, let's check it out. All right, so I like this sign for a dollar. It has a 3D element and has a nice vintage look to it. So uh, this is something that really appeals to me. I'm gonna pick this up. I was looking at these spoons over here. Sometimes I'll pick up the small spoons, but these are pretty generic state ones. Like you could see New Mexico, Arizona, Georgia, you know, North Carolina. And there's 36 others in here, so it's make an offer, but honestly, it's really just not gonna be worth it for me. So just be careful with the spoons. It really, really depends on, on the type. And you could see here, there's also a lot of condition issues with them as well. They could be cleaned, but um, you know, it just, it just really depends. Yeah. So like you could pick up 56 of these state spoons on eBay for $36, including the shipping. So that's why I'm not even gonna bother making an offer on these uh, because there just won't be enough profit margin. But ironically, this for a dollar, I can make a nice flip on this. All right, one of the things I wanna pass along to you as we get into garage sale season is something known as the sticker trick. Now, this is something that some unscrupulous sellers will do they will cover up an area of defect by putting a sticker over it. So a crack, a chip, paint loss, something like that. So you always need to take the sticker off before you make the purchase. So in this case, I already did this when I was at the sale, but just to show you here, there is no defect, but be careful because there's plenty of people that do that. I have a question. Yeah. What's the price on the uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid sets? Um, strictly just because they're collectible, I was thinking about seven bucks a pop. Seven bucks a box. Seven bucks a box? Yeah, that's okay with you. Um, would you do two for ten? I could do two for twelve. Two for twelve? Mm -hmm. All right, deal. All right. All right. So you see this book here? This was a clue for me to ask them if they had any comic books, and turns out they do. Uh, they're inside the house now getting them and bringing them out. So always look for clues to ask for more inside. All right, so the comic books really weren't any good. It was a small stack from the 1990s, and they were all damaged, no key issues or anything. Uh, but when the kid went in, I say kid, but he was like, uh, you know, probably about to graduate high school. He's the person who I negotiated with to get these figures right here, which we'll talk about again in a second. But um, he said, yeah, I have some really old comics in there. And I said, oh, really? Like my eyes lit up, like really old comics? And he's like, yeah, they're from the 1990s. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I can't believe you're calling those really old comics. And there was this old guy standing next to me and he just started laughing. And uh, man, oh my God, it makes me feel old. I started reading comics in the early 1980s. So, but this was a great deal. So whenever you see anything associated with professional European soccer teams, it's always worth looking into. You always see people wearing the Real Madrid uh, shirts and also the uh, FCB Barcelona ones as well. Uh, but these figures, uh, they just don't come to market often. So uh, this one uh, recently sold for 35. There's not one on the market right now, so that's good. And this one, I mean, I just can't find it. So I'm real happy to pick them both up for 12 and uh, too bad comics didn't work out. But again, that's just a tip of looking for like clues at the sale to ask for more that's inside. All right, let's check this house out next. I've gone to this one before and I've got some good things over the years. So let's see if history repeats itself. What's your price on these uh, basketball trapper keepers? Oh, about 75 cents each. Okay, these are cool. Definitely got these. Yeah, so what, two left? Yeah, two left. Yeah. So All right. One of them already. Okay. What was the other one? Uh, <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> All right. Cool. Wow. So history did repeat itself. I mean, this is pretty incredible. This does not come to market often. I'm a big NBA fan. Always have been. 
And to find this Shaquille O'Neal Trapper Keeper for just 75 cents, dates back to 1998. Shaquille O'Neal is one of the most dominant big men of all time, won all those championships with the Lakers, including some with Kobe. And then, of course, we've got the great Allen Iverson here, one of the best point guards of all time, a Georgetown legend, Philly legend. I love how... You know, it says his name right on the side as well. You got the classic Sixers logo on the back. Practice? We talking about practice? <laughs> Inside joke for NBA fans. So in my experience, when people do gimmicky things like this, it usually is a bad sign for the sale, uh, especially if they put up giant signs and say, huge, gigantic, massive sale. Uh, usually, not true. And this is just an example of what I'm talking about inside the tent. Um, just don't really see anything here that is good for flipping purposes. I mean, prices are decent, but you know, you're not going to pick something like this up, for example, or this and go try to resell it on eBay. Shipping alone would kill you. So yeah, nope, pass. All right, so I just got a call from Mrs. Primetime. She's wrapping things up on her end, but she told me she stopped off at a local library book sale and she picked up a box of free books. Now she said she doesn't know if there's anything good in there, but she decided to pick it up because she saw a reseller looking at it. And so that just cracked me up. That, that was the reason that she ultimately decided to get it because she saw a reseller looking at him. So I'm excited to see uh, what's in there, but I just thought I'd pass out. It was pretty funny. This looks pretty interesting. What do you got on the navy seat cushion? What's that? The seat cushion? Um, how much you want to pay me for? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. Just... Is that box good? Huh? Is that box? Well, I don't know. I thought it was lower than that because most of the stuff on the table is like a buck or two, so. Mm, I'll do three. Uh, sure. Five. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So these things go for anywhere between like twenty to thirty dollars. Uh, so I definitely had to try to keep the cost low, and that was one of the negotiation strategies I wanted to show you, which is if someone doesn't have a price sticker on something and they have it around other things that have a low price, guess what? This item is going to start taking on the price range of the things around it. And so you could use that as a negotiation strategy as you heard me use uh, right there, lowering the price from $10 to three bucks. These are a dollar a box? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's I'll grab these for Mrs. Primetime. Oh, right. Are they broken at all? Or? Is there anything broken in it? No. No? no? Okay. He made the signs for the end of the street. All right, so we'll pick these up for Mrs. Primetime for some Primetime bonus points. All right, I couldn't pass up the jewelry for a dollar a piece, especially in the boxes. That was really awesome. So I want to thank my uh, partner here for, <laughs> for helping me out get uh, get some bonus points with Mrs. PT. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, oh, big shout out, by the way, to Brandy, who I just saw. She came up to me on the driveway, said she watches the channel. So it's always fun meeting new people. So uh, thank you, Brandy. And uh, by the way, Brandy's one of my favorite names. So I'm definitely going to remember that. <laughs> so I love Brandy from Storage Wars, by the way. Uh, so... Um, all right, so we're gonna wrap up for now. I gotta go and pick my daughter up at college. Hey, I'm back already. We just picked up my daughter from college. So uh, brought everything into Primetime Treasure Headquarters. And when I was in there, I saw all the stuff that Mrs. Primetime picked up today. So I figured actually a good way to end off this video would be to show you all of Mrs. Primetime's picks. I know a lot of you love that. So let's see what she picked out when she went treasure hunting at the same time in the same area.
All right, so there's a bunch of stuff here to look at, but how funny is this? So Mrs. Primetime had hit up that same area that I was in. That was a part of the video when you saw me go up to her and talking to her. Uh, she actually, is funny, I didn't even notice at the time. I knew, remember she said she got the Garfield plush? So this is the Garfield that she got, which is really cool. I love that it has kind of like a Christmas uh, look to it. So really neat. And then she also has the Odie. These were free. She got both of them for free. And the Odie one jingles a little bit. So that's cool. Also has like a little tag on it. Really neat. So, uh, and also has the tags on them. It says 1980s on the tags on both of them. So very happy with all this plush that we wound up getting. And yeah, as you can see, Mrs. Primetime also raided that area and uh, got a whole bunch of the um, Christmas ornaments. So you could see here, uh, we've got some Disney Christmas ornaments, you know, one of the dwarves. We've got Snoopy. Uh, she's got Papa Smurf. We've got Disney again, Mickey Mouse. Uh, so it looks like we've got Scrooge as well. Uh, Donald. Uh, then she also grabbed like Lion King and more Disney. I mean, my gosh, she really went after the Disney stuff and some Snoopy. She picked up this Santa Claus one as well. So what we're gonna do is just combine this, got a Crayola one with all the ones I picked up and that's gonna be, we talked about it, we're gonna have a whatnot show and sell all these Christmas ornaments out. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. And if you remember, we also have all those tennis, uh, tennis ornaments too, tennis Christmas ornaments. So we'll combine it with this somehow. Um, she also picked out these for me. They were 50 cents a piece, so she's always thinking of me. It's funny how, you know, she thinks of me with the comic stuff, and I think of her with the jewelry. And see, Miss Primetime coming through. She even picks up the ladies for me. That's why Mrs. Primetime is awesome. <laughs> she's great. So uh, let's go over here. This is something she said to just include in the video because even though she's probably not gonna resell it, she just wanted everyone to see the kind of stuff that she likes. And so she does love flowers and stuff. Flowers are my greatest enemy, I always joke, because uh, I don't know too much about flowers. But um, she's probably just gonna use this for her, not to resell. Uh, she picked up this wall decor here. Uh, so it's funny how both of us wound up getting Winnie the Pooh stuff. So she's got a Piglet, Eeyore, Tigger, and Winnie right there. So, you know, it's all wall, wall decor. You could hang it. And so we're just going to keep this together as a set. Um, and then I will show you the jewelry last. She got this for free. This is what she was talking about. So I thought they were books, but it turns out they're actually uh, like country magazines and looks like crafting type of books. So, uh, and she's got a whole big lot of them. So I, I'm not sure right now off the top of my head, just looking at it, you know, how much each one of these is going to sell for. Probably put them together in some type of lot, but you know, you really can't miss with, you know, getting all this for free. So we'll probably just put together some nice crafting lot for someone. Uh, then she picked this up for 50 cents. So she's got this nice uh, pin here. Uh, looks like I don't know, I thought it might open up, but no. And it's got a flower coming out the top. Uh, then she got this for free. She liked this uh, because she's actually getting interested in ephemera. Uh, she's been watching a lot of whatnot shows about ephemera, and she's been seeing me pick up ephemera over the years. So she likes this, and, you know, it's just a little uh, needle craft book. So, you yeah, know, she just wanted to grab that. Then she's got this here. It uh, uh, looks like it's a hook uh, to help you find your purse. So she picked up that. These are cool. These are uh, pewter pieces right here. And she they're all marked pewter on the back as they usually are, as you can see here. So she's got these uh, like teapot, tea kettle, you know, different type of styles. And again, they're all pewter and they're marked and signed on the back. So that's pretty cool that she got that. Um, I think these were 50 cents a piece or uh, all of them for $4 or something like that. She, she did very well on this. Then these pieces here were also 50 cents a piece. So this one with all the little charms hanging off of it, pretty cool. Looks like you got palm trees, fish. This is like more of a beachy, tropical one uh, that she got. And then some with some initials. Looks like it says Die. I don't know if that's for Lady Die uh, or not, but Mrs. PT would know. And then these here, 
uh, she picked up all of them for six dollars so there was a little negotiation not much but looks like she picked up some nice pieces again some with some rhinestones some nice floral design some gold tone uh, pretty nice she got some nice little colorful beads and everything like that so uh, some some bracelets too she does well with uh, with her bracelet lots I think they might all be loft pieces actually if you look here it says loft right there I think this person actually it's funny mrs. primetime used a little inside knowledge she recognized the lady who was selling this as someone she saw selling in a loft store so that kind of clued her in that maybe there would be some loft stuff there and sure enough uh, there was and so she was able to get it for a great price all right everyone well <laughs> that does it for today daisy's having an interesting hair day right now she is uh guarding the new treasure she's very excited uh, i'm very excited to start garage sale season so i'm actually gonna wrap this one up i think we've got enough content for this video it was an exciting way to get started for the year mrs pine town be coming along sometimes as well sometimes we go together but sometimes we divide and conquer so it really just depends and uh, this day since we had a time pressure we thought divide and conquer was the best approach let me know what your favorite item was that i picked up today i always look forward to seeing that uh, make sure you say hello to Daisy as well. As you can see, she is hard at work right now. She's very excited at the start of a new picking season. So uh, I will, of course, relay any messages for Daisy left in the comments for her. I'll give her some extra uh, chin scratches, belly taps, or belly rubs, whatever you specify. I seriously do do that for her. So <laughs> thank you all for the support, and I'll see you back at the next one. Take care. Daisy, mommy. <laughs> Daisy, Gizmo. <laughs> <laughs>